Nie? This one is an electro well brand, 100 kVA, longitudinal steam burning machine. On this, you can weld up to 1.6 mm thick sheets, components, drums, barrels, fuel tanks. Now, here we show you the components. This one is a back row controller. This is the other switch. This is a lock and unlock key. Here we can select the different schedules for different thicknesses. Press this button. And this will want to be selected for 1.6 plus 1.6 sheets. We want to change the schedule and we'll go to number 2. Then go to program. You can feed the setting whatever setting you want as to the data provided in the manual. Suppose we keep 40 cycles as a squeeze time. The rest all we have to keep 0, 0, 0. Then we come to W2. This is a wheel time that you can keep about 3, 4 or 5. This is a current setting just for heat control. You can set up to the other job. This is how you can vary. Then this is a full time. This you can keep with one cycle or you can increase to two cycles. All zero zero. Till you come to forging, this you keep about 15 cycles. You can keep one cycle. Impulse is zero. Now this probe is set for a particular thickness. Then if you want to go back to the serial number one, press this button, make it minus, then press again, press the program. You find in the serial number one, we have fed the parameters for welding 1.6 plus 1.6 components. You see, you can see, this is a 40 cycle with squeeze time. You can increase or increase. It's all 0, 0, 0. When you come to W2, here we kept 5 cycles for the real time. You can reduce or increase. It's a heat percentage. This we are keeping for welding 1.6 plus 1.6 heats. You can decrease or increase. This one is a full time, you can keep 1 or 2, this is a 0, 0, 0. Forging time, we have 15 seconds, only 3 is a bit here. Half time, we keep 1 cycle, because 0. So this program is set for welding 1.6 components. This is a very novel switch. When you want to weld, put it on the weld side, otherwise you can try and no weld. Now here we have indicators. This is emergency stop. Then these are three faces indicators. This is a pump on up switch. Before starting the machine, connect the pump inlet outlet to the water circulating pump tank. About 5 liters. Then this is a motor on up switch. Means the PMTC motor. Here we have the motor indicator. Here we have the air indicator. Here we have the wall for cutting the water on the wheel. Then we have 10 inch tire, muffin thick, chromium decoding copper, and I feel the thing running. 
This is an 8 inch one with a little bit of upper LR G8. Then we have here an auxiliary gear box. Here we have an air pressure switch. This is a water flow indicator. When the water flows, you will see the indication coming there. If you stop the water, it shall stop. This is the FRM. Connect air supply over here. This is the pressure adjustment knob. This is the pressure gauge. This is the air filter. Every evening, you must drain the water from here. This is the oil filter. Then you have the EMDC gear motor that drives the top wheel. Then at the bottom, we have a welding foot switch. And that is a three phase. Here we have the color switch. Now we can do the welding. Just see. This one is the emergency stop. We can start this. As we said earlier, these are three faces. This one is the air indicator. This is a pump on off switch. Put this on. This is the motor on off switch. This is a motor on switch. Then this is speed control arrangement. You can keep about say 25 to 26. Here the welding. Now it shows you once again the welding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.